Okay, I'm back from the, well, overworld, and I got a lot of iron and copper. I actually went out of my way to get mostly both of those. I'm nice and mainly recharged, so let's see how much of this stuff we're going to get. We have a bunch of iron, and some of this is still cooking up, so we're going to probably have to go out and get some later but we're going to want to compress some more of these into a bunch of copper plates because I'm sure we're going to need a lot of them in our reactor design. We already have a bunch of those so that's good. Any other copper that we have? No we do not. Therefore we'll just throw these in, get a bunch of copper ingots and then go from there. Now time for the reactor design we're going to need to get some copper and our tin let's get copper tin and gold with us right now so that we can get everything in readiness now do I have any tin here no I do not and I have some extra iron so I can just use some of that so let's get some of the tin that we have over here and combine it all together. I think I have a good chunk over there, or is it in here? Hmm, I should probably organize myself a bit better, and these textures, while they are pretty consistent, I'm going to have to get used to them a bit. We'll see how that goes. Okay, this should be enough tin to at least make that wrench that I'm going to need to make. Let's go with the industrial craft wrench and we're going to plug or take out one of the generators that we have and this one will be the one that we're using for our nuclear reactor so this generator did we get it yes we did okay so that's one less thing that we're going to need so lots of dense copper plates will be needed so let's compress at least a stack of our copper right now so that'll be eight more dense copper plates and we're going to need to get reactors. So the nuclear reactor is going to take three reactor chambers, generator, and an advanced circuit, which is easy enough to make. Now we're going to need reactor chambers, so nine of these in total, which will require a lot of machine blocks and more dense copper plates. So we're going to need to take all of the iron that we have and mostly refine it. So that will take a bit of effort and we got all the rubber that we need so we can just gather some redstone and some lapis and glowstone I think I have saw some glowstone in there though I could be wrong let's see redstone two bits of lapis because that's all we need and glowstone will be in the other chest over there so let's go grab it now I do have some iron over there that's just perpetually being created so I can run over there and get it. That's sulfur. Let's see if I can find my glowstone before we can continue. Okay, found it. Let's grab all this as well as that. So we're going to have a spare wrench when we're all done this. And we're going to make our advanced circuit to start off with. So advanced circuit will just require the normal rubber stuff and let's not bother about anything too fancy let's get the refined iron get the redstone fill this up Milari, and get all that going together and we got the advanced circuit that's the first thing and we're going to need 36 dense copper plates just for the reactor itself so that's going to require another round of densifying so going to need two plus another half stack so let's get that in and we're going to need a lot more refined iron so we're going to actually need to refine a lot of this iron and wait for even more iron though I do think we have some iron dust in the centrifuge chest over here ouch so we can just check there let's get our jetpack on and then take a look. I think we have a lot of stuff ready, but I could be wrong. Eh, that's enough to get us going at least. And more gold the merrier, and let's see how this process is going. We're almost ready for another shipment. 
So that will be in readiness for when we're done. Now it seems like we're on the iron dust already, so we can grab some more of that and wait some for some more copper as well. So another stack of copper, which we can condense. And we are going to need a lot of dense copper because I actually... Sorry, I know you wanted me to look through it, but I'm thinking for this, the best thing to do is actually make a reactor that's going to be basically off of one that's very good. Now, the one I found used four quad uranium cells, so that's 16 uranium per, which will give me two runs of this which is going to be more than enough, and it outputs 320 EU per tick. So we're going to have to get a heavy-duty cable, we'll have to run it from a good distance, we're going to need an MFSU to handle all of it, or we can, for now, just pump it all into our matter fabricator to start with. Either way, it'll work. Now let's get our copper plating so we can get all that done, and we're going to need to work on this a bit more so that we can get some more of these but first of all let's at least get our initial reactor set up let's just get all that and we got three of these machine blocks and three reactor chambers and combine these all together with a generator and an advanced circuit and we get a nuclear reactor our first of its kind Ah, all we need are nuclear weapons now. Kind of hard, though, seeing as it'd be, well, bad to fight creepers with nuclear missiles. But whatever. Now, this design that I have is fully stable, so I don't think we are going to need a nuclear housing at any rate. Maybe when we do an SUC, so one of those uh, designs that are pretty much not self-sufficient but you have to use those condensators so let's look at the condensators condensators how they work is that you basically feed them in heat so the heat that's fired off using the nuclear reactor it goes into those and you have to recharge them by using lapis so if we check we can refuel them by 40% in the LZH condensators or 5% with redstone it doesn't really matter but it's probably quicker well it is quicker to use lapis now I'm thinking of a few ways we can uh, make use of that quote unquote but I think we can leave that for another talk when I actually attempt my SUC reactor later on now let's see a stack shall do for what we're going to be doing just going to combine it once again make all of our reactor chambers and we'll keep that for now and let's see we'll go this way and now we're going to have to figure out how we're going to keep everything sane what I want is for well a dedicated room of blast shieldiness to keep the reactor safe so what we might need to do now I did do a test in another server not a server another save file yes in my test world I did a test exploding a nuclear reactor inside a bunker house and it was only one thick with reinforced stone I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen but it didn't detonate the entire thing when it exploded I'm not sure why that is but anyway so now we're going to have to figure out how we're going to cable everything which is actually going to be easy enough where's our machine blocks we'll just use since we have a lot of rubber we might as well just use some of our high voltage cables and it's going to be directly fed off using hmm let's see now what I want to do is get an MFSU instead of the MFE here. That'll probably be, or actually will be, our best bet at success. And we're going to need to move everything that's here to a different location to actually have an actual storage house. Though we can probably build up on the 
energy storage area when we actually have energy to store, which currently is not the case. Therefore, we should probably just figure out how we're going to bring all the energy. Sorry about that. I've seemed to have experienced a crash. I'm not too sure what the reason was. But anyways, let's go onwards. Now, we're going to need a transformer because it's going to be 320 EU per tick going into here. So we're going to want to minimize that for now so that the MFE can handle it. That would kind of be nice. So let's see, we're going to need to have that there. And we'll have, I think we'll just have the cable come from underneath like so. So we'll just go like so and into a nice open area. And we'll have it like that. So eventually maybe we'll have some sort of dedicated room out here, chicken. And I did not want your chicken chicken. Why did you have to give me the chicken chicken? St stupid chicken chicken. Anyways, so I'm thinking before I actually start, so I don't... Uh, eat my words later on. We're going to have to make sure that I back up or something. Also, I'm going to make sure that this is all within one chunk. So the lever, the redstone lever, is going to be in one chunk. So let's get the chunk boundary. If we look at the numbers, that means this is the chunk boundary and it's here. So this is the corner of the chunk and we're going to have to make sure that everything is within this. Or we could have it like here instead. I don't know. Having it that close, do I want that to... Uh, no, I'll have it over here. Just in case, so I can uh, make it a bit better later on. So let's place down a nuclear reactor in a nice area such as this. Have to place the reactor first. We only have three chambers, but by adding all of these chambers, we'll have a total of nine. Hadoo. And let me actually place that. Thank you. Let's place water around it so that we uh, can get everything out of here. We don't want all these seeds to clog up our nice little nuclear wasteland that we will have eventually. And here we go. So all that we're going to need now is just a simple little lever and then we'll be good. So lever up, me bucko, and we will be good. So let's actually put it on the other side. Now we're going to want a bunch of cabling. I'm going to think that 32 cables will be good and we're going to want the high voltage cables. So let's see, will this be enough for 32? I dare say 36 will be on the money. So that is not exactly what we wanted to do. We're going to need a few more rubber pieces to get everything else rubberized. Stay safe, kids. Okay, we're also going to want that and that to be rubberized. So let's get that. And we got 36. We're probably going to need more cabling, but oh well. So let's see, block here. Are we out of energy? No, I was just stupid somehow. Speaking of which, okay, let's get that there. We'll bring this all out here. We're going to have a nice more level floor later on, so don't worry about that. And we'll just cable this. Eventually, we're going to have the pretty much lossless cables. But currently, that is not a possibility, so let's just attach that. And let's see, we had 36 cables, so that's 26 EU lost per tick, which is quite a bit so we're going to want to make sure that we get it a bit better on later on so we'll have to see how that goes <laughs> so let's see nuclear reactor we're going to now want to figure out how to get everything else agreeable I think we'll just put a nice little handy dandy workbench right here for now and now that I think of it we can just layer this all in like three or four layers of reinforced rock at a later date and we might want to twist the cable around if we do something like that in the future but that's not going to be necessary right now so the reactor design that I managed to find requires a few things 
let's check and go into the vents first of all. The main thing that it requires are vents. So it needs 12 of these component heat vents. They require tin ingots, iron bars, and heat vents, which require iron bars and reinforced iron, refined iron rather. So that's going to be a bit of iron and refined iron that we're going to have to muscle up. It also requires 26 overclocked heat vents. That requires two gold ingots each, which less than a stack of gold that I can live with, and reactor heat vents, a lot more than just a stack of copper, and the normal heat vents. So that's going to be a total of 38 vents that we're going to have to create ahead of time. My inventory cannot handle that many, but we do have the refined iron that we are going to need. Now I'm thinking we'll start, oh, we need another thing as well, which is a heat exchanger, not an ex exploder. Let's see, we need eight component heat exchangers, which require more gold, which we have, but they require more dense copper platings and actually electronic circuits. So I'm thinking actually that might be the best thing to start off with and then we can work on the other stuff at later times. So let's put another chest here so that we have pretty much the area where all of our resources that will be dedicated to this will go. The other stuff's working slowly so we can just wait for everything like that to go. So we're going to need all the gold the refined iron and the tin is going to be necessary. I don't think we're going to need the glowstone, but we will need the redstone. And the copper we'll want with the rubber. We're going to need to actually go get more rubber, so we'll have to find some resin to do so. We might use one of these centrifuges. That might be a bit better. Ooh, we need some tin for that, I think I'll want to start our uranium ya run there. So let's see. So a bunch of empty cells so we can get this uranium to go. Might as well get that running in the meantime. There's no reason not to. And we'll just store the brick in. And is there any area where I can use aluminum instead? No, just tin for that, and probably just tin and refined iron for the other things. Shame, shame, shame. Actually, I might as well check. Vents. The vent, this requires tin. That requires tin. This requires, sorry, refined iron. Aluminum. We can use aluminum on all the heat vents. That is great. So an actual use for all the aluminum num num that we managed to procure. So that will actually cut down our iron costs quite a tad. So we can thank all of that. Now can we actually make iron bars with aluminum? Nope. That is a big negatory. So let's make um, a bit of iron, a few iron bars at least, and get some of those heat vents. This will be good for 16, no, 8 heat vents and we're going to need more than that. Let's get, this will be enough for a good chunk of heat vents so we can get those in. Now let's wait for this. Now it seems like we're actually draining quite a bit of our energy, but actually it doesn't really matter. So let's store this eight aluminum in as well. We'll keep the refined iron with us as well and then just scooter on over and get this to whack up and put them in the locations once we make them. Actually, we're going to need our gold. So let's actually get ourselves situated, then do some crafting. Okay, one of the first things we're going to want to get right away, since it's actually one of the easiest but one of the less few to make, is to get the component heat vents. So we're going to need 12 of these heat vents first of all. So let's use half of our stack like this and we'll make a lot of this so we don't have much room for anything else do we so we're probably going to have to jettison something in the meantime I think dirt we might as well get rid of for now to get this now with this we're gonna need tin so lots of tin 
So we might as well, uh, we're going to need some iron as well. So I think maybe another default chest right here so that we can get our finished items right here. Now, I probably could have got everything a bit better in planning by having all of our resource chest here instead or something. But I don't know, maybe it's one of those things where it's best to think of it afterwards, but whatever. So we got 12 of those ready. We're going to need to get a bit of iron. So we should take this out, put that in. We're still going to need to do more compression for dense copper for the overclocked because these require two each which is not exactly a healthy number in my opinion, but oh well. So, we're going to need more iron bars, and we're going to need more tin, so I think I can rustle up some tin right now. That'll be easy enough to do, so I'll grab some tin, and then we can continue on our crafting. Okay, I managed to rustle up a stack and change from all the tin dust that I've managed to procure over my uh, long experimentation process. I. So let's get enough iron bars to do so, and we're going to need to get a bunch of heat vents. So I'm thinking just dropping a bunch of them. Uh, wait, Q? Is it Q? Yes. So click and Q will be good. We'll have all the vents. And we'll just arrange our iron bars and our tin. Wait, I might as well check if I have it in right order. No, I do not. So let's get them rectified before I royally screw up. So we're going to need to do one at a time and throw them on the ground because that's how we do things. So let's craft these up. Okay, we got those done. So let's throw them in. Now the component, uh, actually what I should do is throw them in at least where they are supposed to be. Now the component heat vent is, well, nuclear reactors in general, they work, at least in industrial craft, they work in a principle that all uranium generates heat. And when you put more pieces together, they generate more heat, but they generate more energy as a result. So you have a bunch of vents and components that are designed to either just take away heat, like siphon it so that it's destroyed with the item, or you can take it and basically put it into the atmosphere, so to speak, and basically you don't have to worry too much, and it's completely maintenance-free. Just throw in your uranium when it's done and forget. Now, component heat vents, they work a bit differently than a lot of components. Say you have a comp bunch of components like here, just try to visualize them as something different. And they're all receiving heat through other components and uranium itself. What the component heat vent is each of the ones that it's surrounded by, it takes five heat per reactor tick. Now, reactors, they tick differently than how the world ticks. The world in Minecraft basically there's 20 ticks per second. Now the reactor ticks it's not 20 per second but it's actually one per second. So one reactor's tick per second. So when I say ticks in this it'll be the reactor ticks. So it ticks once per second and five heat per second is dissipated. So now in the design that I have they're placed like so, at least those are like that. And if I am right, I'm going to have to pull it up later to verify. Actually, I should probably pull it up now to see what I'm doing. But I think it's like that. Hang on. Okay, I think I'm right. It's right here. So the uranium is here and these components are in line like that. We're going to have to get the remaining four components and throw them in and it's pretty much a mirror image for most of it anyways. We're gonna have some more components because obviously this is not exactly the best nuclear reactor design there is because well there isn't anything to work on so we'll have to grab some of our stuff later. Now let's compress some more in the meantime get the remaining tin 
and I think we have enough iron to do most of our other stuff and we should have enough gold to do a lot of them so the next things we should make is the heat exchangers so we're going to need a lot of the component exchangers so we're going to need eight electronic circuits and eight dense copper and we have the tin to do the rest of it so let's throw this in here and the remaining aluminum because we're not likely to use too much more of it actually for our gold heat vents we're going to need a good chunk but I think we're going to need a bit more rubber hang on let me do some calculations we actually have enough rubber right now if we use electrum for our electronic circuits I'm thinking using Electrum for our electronic circuits will probably be in our best interest because I think we have a huge chunk of Electrum but not of rubber so we're actually going to have to find the Electrum first so I'm gonna have to zip around my base a few times if I can't find it right away we got seven Electrum so we're actually oh I got even more copper so that's good and this insulated cable will be useful when I make the transformer which I think I should make now The transformer will transform our high voltage that we get from the reactor into medium voltage so the medium voltage transformer will just require a machine block and the two gold cables that I've found miraculously so let's put our refined iron together and then just make the simple medium voltage transformer and put it here we'll have a connection later on but this is how it's going to be and the three dot one is right here for future consumption everything's good everything's good let's get that out of the way and we're going to need to make five sets of this and we have just enough rubber for all this so let's get all that there we go we got the 30 and we're just going to let's see do we have the refined iron we have the redstone as well so we're going to first I did not take all the electrum one moment okay here we go we got our refined iron and we got our electrum ah, finally and we're just going to need to put our wires in the correct configuration like so so we got six right now but we're going to need to make two more now we got eight and we got eight dense copper so let's make the normal heat vents first heat exchanger rather heat exchanger yes I thought it said exchange for a certain for some reason now let's check the exchanger and it's going to just require gold all around it and we got enough to do so so now what the exchanger does is it actually exchanges heat from one component to another so compared to the heat vents which just dissipates it well the one that I had dissipated it directly from the others whereas some of them actually dissipate it by having to require the heat to be transferred into it but I digress the heat exchangers at least actually the component heat exchanger exchange it through components all the heat and then that gets further diffused by the vents so we're just supposed to put them like so and now all that we're going to need are our other vents so our golden vents or our overclocked heat exchangers which will require a lot of dense copper plating and many many more heat exchangers are not heat exchanger vents now I'm thinking it's probably a good idea if I actually go in and see if I can actually make another hole to keep it nice and stable I think I'll make the hole right here and we can just step in easily like so and we're going to have to make an archway so that it's not so tacky but I think we can live with that so that we can at least live a little in peace yay doors are for chumps I use the walls okay stop clucking at me so we're going to need a lot more copper plating I'm not even too sure whether I have enough copper 
as it stands right now. Let's be smart about the EU that we're using. I think our Rock Crusher did get enough, so we're going to have to see. We might have to steal from our quarry that might not have sent any yet. But we got one more stack of copper, uh, more iron, and some gold. So let's at least refine our gold a bit more and then get our copper. So hmm, we still might not have enough copper plating, which means we might need to forestall it a bit. Then again, that might be enough. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's throw this in. We're going to need to receive that again and then we're gonna have to do some calculations we need 26 golden vents so 26 vents and it requires two each therefore it's going to require 52 copper plating we have 18 currently 19 rather so if we require 52 that means we're going to require 33 more plating that's four more stacks of copper in total uh, actually plus this will be five so wait let's put that in so now it's four more stacks we got three stacks right now which means we're going to need a half stack of copper ore from our system so we're going to have to ch of course it has to be a half stack of copper come on as if couldn't be you know something more manageable like three or something like that but oh my goodness okay I'm getting a little uh, finicky now so we're going to have to probably go out mining again unless we can find some more copper I doubt that's going to be the case though I don't think there's any method that I know of that can do it worst comes to worst we could just uh, bum off some or we could use any eye no I'm not gonna use any eye stop suggesting it devil um, this is done shouldn't it be huh why have you stopped it's not putting the items inside the chest for some reason go forth stock Okay, I'm confused. Why have you stalled? Come on. And it's enough to start another cycle. Come on, why are you stalled? That's just unfair. So we're going to have to almost put a permanent thing right here. And I'm using so much wood to just get a simple lever. Lever, go. Let's see what happens later. Just dump everything else away. Do we have any leftover lava? Let's just see what happens. Transfer. Away. Wingardian Leviosa. Hmm. Maybe it needs to... Oh. Item loader. I don't know. One moment. Oh, I see. The empty... I don't know. Guess there's... It doesn't keep any of the other stuff in. I don't know. Let's just take everything out of this so that it doesn't confuse itself. Because otherwise, nothing's going to get done. And it's. I'll just read up on it later. I don't know. Ah, foiled by science yet again, Way. So we're going to have to eventually get another stack or, well, stack of copper ingots. We'll get those eventually. We can probably, and we're going to need some more for uranium anyways. Let's see. The quad uranium cell requires three per four five. So it requires five dense copper plating per. And we're going to need 20 in total. So that's going to be like a mini holiday in copperdom. So we're going to have to figure out something for that later on. But I think we might as well at least create what we have right now. And I think I'll go out on a, another mining expedition or just wait for all the copper that we're going to need. Because I guess it's not too much of a problem anyway. So let's make the vents anyways. So first we're going to need to make the heat vents. Which once again requires aluminum. Aluminum, num, num, num. Okay, let's grab our aluminum, and then we can create that stuff. 
and then we can worry about the other stuff and the pending apocalypse some other time. Uh, probably an apocalypse would occur if I actually get stuff organized. Heaven forbid that happen. So, um, this will be good enough for 16, and we're going to need more than 16, but we might as well just make these for now. It'll at least give us our nice, fair share of vents. So we're going to have to get that out of the way. Ooh, that's just useful. I'm not sure why, but it keeps on bugging on, uh, bugging out on me. Maybe there's something I can do on my end to prevent it from crashing. Though it shouldn't be crashing anyways, so I don't think it's anything that I am necessarily doing. Therefore, I don't think there's any point on me trying to solve it on my end. There is no reason whatsoever it should be crashing, but we'll find out later on if there's something I can do with it. For now, we might as well finish the episode and see if we can do anything. So, one, two, three, four. I made too many bars, though we're only going to need four extra. So, actually, I made the same amount. Uh, the correct amount anyways because I would need to craft another uh, set anyway so let's see we got all of our heat vents that we're going to require we're just going to need some more dense copper and then we're going to need the gold that will also be required for the entire um, entrepreneurship I cannot pronounce right now that is annoying okay 36 that will be enough for at least uh, 18 so let's see how much we can craft with all this in our inventory. We're going to need to do one at a time because that is how it is. So now these reactor heat vents, or actually let's talk about the golden ones. The golden heat vents are rather special. They're the overclocked heat vents. What they do in a reactor setup is they dissipate the most heat for any of the reactor heat vents. They dissipate approximately, I believe it is, what is it? Someone might have to back me up on the facts, but I think um, they do 16 per tick. Now that is a lot, but another interesting factoid is the fact that they also take heat from the reactor hole itself, about 20 heat per tick. Now... The heat isn't stored only in the components, it's actually stored in the reactor hole itself, so you can think of it being stored in these seven blocks. And then, basically if the heat in that area gets past a certain threshold, uh, one moment, gotta pause for dramatic effect. Boom! Everything goes everywhere. Nuclear reactor fallout for everyone. It'll be like a holiday. Uh, Christmas has come early and it is radioactive green. Though it wouldn't be green afterwards, especially when the fallout just settles down on the ground. Anyways, so heat vents, what they can do is take the heat from the surrounding area and be jolly about it. And the fact that it doesn't go into the hole it gets dissipated now as you noticed pretty much it doesn't cool itself fast enough for the heat that is taken so what it needs to do is get that excess heat those extra four heat per tick and be sent in some sort of other area now to pull it away you can either use the component heat vent so it'll take the excess heat through that method or you can use another thing. Now, if I'm right, it's actually, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to verify my facts because it might not be able to self-cool. I'm going to have to see, though it might. I'm going to have to check that factoid. Don't hold me to that because I might have to verify that because it'd kind of be bad if I kind of give you that impression and then you try to build a similar setup and boom. For some reason, I think that is a little bad for business and is not quite as hayo ish So we're going to need to make those overclocked heat vents, so let's make a few and then wrap up. 
Uh, I kind of feel bad for doing this because I know I'm not going to get as much copper in the future, but I'm actually just going through my quarry and grabbing a bunch of the copper ore off of the ground because eventually I'm going to get it anyways. So there's no point in me waiting for it if I'm just going to get it anyways. So I'm already at almost my landmark. We're just going to need a bit more and then we can just macerate it quickly and we should be good. That being said, we might need more in the future, but I think I can manage the payoff later. Okay, we have a bit of work ahead of us still, but not as much. We're still going to need to get a bit more copper. I'm probably going to have to go on another dedicated run to make sure I get enough copper for everything. But I think I should be good. I'm just going to also need another... Uh, I'm going to need an MFSU and maybe some cabling to get to here. And maybe, hopefully, we can get enough diamonds to get this into one cable using glass fiber. It's probably the best. Hopefully, we'll, with all of that work, get enough EU to get all the energy for the matter fabricator to get six pieces of UU matter and that we can use to then make awesomeness. Amen. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE Power. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. We have time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.